Hey guys, it's Brian in here, and today I'm coming at you with a brand new vlog on a brand new camera. So I said I was going to get a new camera and unmint it, because my old one, oh let's face it, the quality wasn't that great. I've been using it since like 2012, and with the lighting in this room, as you can probably tell right now, I've been working on it a little bit. I'm having to use my spotlight, which is like back there behind my head, so I had the kind of looks like the sun. It's really weird looking, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna wear my shades here, you know, got the shades, yo. But anyway, yeah, I got a new camera, I got a Canon uh, power shot, and this thing's pretty awesome because it records up to like 60 frames per second, and in HD up to 1080p of course, and it has like this amazing zoom, like it's crazy, it has like a 65 times zoom. So you could like zoom in on like the moon outside, like maybe I'll try that sometime, it'd be awesome. You can see like your details on the moon and everything, it's crazy. But anyway, yeah, I had to upgrade my camera because, you know, my one was bad quality and, and the sliding and everything, it just, it wasn't picking up anything. And since I'm nocturnal and I stay up all night most of the time, it, you know, I had to get a camera that could record decently at night. I think the quality's looking pretty decent right now, you know, you can see everything and the lighting looks alright. And, yeah, I was just recently cleaned up my room today and I got it looking pretty good again. Uh, in my standards, whatever, it's pretty good, you know. <laughs> I watch these vlogs on YouTube and I always get so inspired by them. You know, oh, I want to go do this now, I want to go do that. You know, you watch people on YouTube and they really inspire you to do that kind of thing, you know. Maybe you didn't think you could be good enough to do a vlog and you watch a YouTube video and hey, maybe I could try that, you know, I could do that. She makes it look easy. You know, and then you go and try and do it and it's fun and, you know, you upload it and you might not get it many views, but you still had fun doing it and you might get some views and you might get somewhere. You never know until you try, you know, so that's how I got into vlogging at least. So it was, it's something like Let's Plays I used to do as well. I got into that by watching other people on YouTube do it as well. And I guess that's just how people try new things and stuff. You see other people doing it and you think it's cool and you try it. So, I don't know. It's really fun to think about and I look forward to finding out what I'm going to do like next in the future because I don't know. I still got a lot of things to do on my channel and everything and I got uh, a review coming up, my first review of Pokemon badges. Like, they're sending me the real life Pokemon badges of the Gen 5 one. And um, I'm gonna review those and I'm gonna do a video on that. And then I'm gonna actually be doing a giveaway of the badges, so I'll be looking forward to that. All you guys out there waiting for another giveaway from me. I also was thinking of doing like a top 5 amiibo video again, so I could actually do. A, another amiibo giveaway because I have another amiibo to give away. I have an extra Charizard which I know a lot of you guys would probably like because it's Pokemon related so you know I could probably do that soon as well. So, I don't know I got a lot of good things lined up and then October is coming up and you know how awesome that is. I love October man. So excited for it. The Return of the Walking Dead, Halloween, you know, and creepy pasta videos from me. I'm gonna be doing, of course, this is like a tradition that I have going on. <laughs> and I don't know, every time I look at myself in these glasses, like, they look so big close up. But if I, like, go back a little bit like this, they look alright. But if you get, like, really close up, they're, like, really huge on me. It's crazy. Anyway, yeah, I got a whole new setup back there. You can see my microphone sticking out. I use a Blue Yeti microphone. You can see some sprites back there. I started drinking Sprite and I drink Hawaiian Punch still as well. And yeah, update on my Coke thing. I'm still going uh, four months solid without drinking Coke. So, yay! Hooray! Hey! Hey! You know? I don't know. What the hell? But anyway, I'm so, I'm so happy about that as well. It's crazy because that was so hard to give up. But I put my mind to it, and I did not want to go back to it. There was this one slip-up that I had that actually had my dad. He went and got me something to eat from Zaxby's, which is a restaurant. He accidentally got me a Coke, and I took a sip of it. And I was like, oh my god, no! 
this ruins my streak. But it was just one sip, so I'm not even gonna count that because after I drank that sip and I realized, I stopped drinking it and I went and grabbed a, a Hawaiian punch. So, I don't know if you wanna count that, I guess, but I'm not. So, I'm going four months without drinking Coke and I'm not looking back and I'm feeling a lot better. I've been doing a lot of like dancing around my room. I like to dance to music loud and it's so fun because a lot of you guys saw me dancing in that last video and you said I did pretty well at dancing. And some of you guys probably don't know, but I used to actually dance a lot in school. Um, it was like my first big dance in like elementary school and it was like second and third, fourth grade, something like that. And we was in like the gym, that's where they had the dance at. And they was just playing music and everyone was just standing around. You know, you had this other person over here, the random person just going like this or whatever. Just not really dancing at all. And I come out there and I'm like, what the heck is this? You guys gotta do something. This ain't no dance, you know? So I just start busting a move and I get go crazy and do all my moves. And just people, everyone joined in. It was probably one of the biggest things in my life right there. I'll never forget all the rest of the kids that never talked to me because I was shy and, you know, unpopular or whatever at school. Even the popular kids, they even come over there and they joined me dancing and they all followed my dance moves. And the, that was amazing. It was like I was freaking, I don't know, Megan Trainor or something. <laughs> I was like the Justin Bieber. No, I'm not gonna put myself there. Oh no. I was like a rock star and everybody was following my dance moves. It was just amazing. I, I couldn't believe it. And then the next day at school, I remember like, the people were like, oh my gosh, he's really good at dancing. Like the other kids at school were talking and they was complimenting me and everything. I was, it was so amazing, I'll never ever forget it. And it was one of the biggest accomplishments of my life right there. <laughs> Not many people know that. It's so old. Not many people even remember it probably anymore. And it doesn't mean anything to them, but it meant the world to me, so. Yeah. So I've been going on for eight minutes now, it looks like. And I don't know what else to really talk about. I was gonna go on a rant about something else. But I just sat down in front of the camera and I'm like, Oh, I gotta talk about this now, I gotta talk about this. But I was gonna talk about a few things. But I guess I'll talk about that in a different vlog because it's kind of a downer. And I don't want to really make this vlog a downer because I'm so sick of downers, you know? It's just, this past few weeks have been so hard for me. A lot of things have happened that were depressing. That's what kept me from making videos on YouTube for that whole time that I took a break on YouTube. And I was going to talk about that and let you guys know what happened. So maybe next time I'll do that. Or maybe I'll do it just right after this vlog. So if I'm wearing like the same clothes in the next video, that's why. So, yeah. I guess I'll just... Stop the video here and I'll get back to you guys on that one in the next vlog. So be looking forward to that and everything else that I talked about. Thank you guys so much for being awesome for all the mail and for, in my P.O. box and all the love and support. It really means the world to me and makes me smile and I love you all. Peace out.